Hi, I'm Laura Ray, and I'm here with my pink makeup kit. I have put together a kit for all of you that works cohesively, that will create a beautiful look. As if we went out shopping together and I suggested a group of makeup for you that would just make you look radiant. Let's start first with priming the lips. I love to put something on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. Then my lips are so much smoother and easier to apply lipstick and liner and they just look healthier. So I'm using a very affordable one from the Inky List. It's called the Tripeptide Plumping Balm. I really love how this smooths the lines. Now keep in mind you can put this over your lipstick at the end if you would like also. It is great to wear overnight to bed like a sleeping mask. So there are multiple uses for this. It has the traditional lip gloss kind of applicator. You just squeeze some up, apply it on the lips, and your lips will look plump and full. I can't be without an eyeshadow primer. The one I love that's so affordable is from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Last eyeshadow primer. It helps the shadows to stay on all day, to look smoother, just to apply much easier. Another thing I like to do with my eyeshadow primer is put it around my nose. This area around here, the foundation tends to wear off during the day if I blow my nose or I have an itch or something. So I find that wearing an eyeshadow primer in that area really helps the foundation stay on. Now today I'm using a brand new palette that was sent to me by Sigma. I love Sigma brushes. Their makeup products are wonderful. This is the new mod, and I thought this was perfect for a pink look because you can get a variety of looks out of this, and it has one of my all-time favorite shades in it, this duochrome that's called Avant-Garde. This is stunning and looks great on the mobile lid, but there's a lot you can do with this palette. I'm starting off with Posh. It is a satin finish, and I just sort of blow it out over the mobile lid to try to make it look diffused. Then I go in with New Mod, which I love this color on its own. It's gorgeous. It makes a great eyeliner. So many of these are perfect for lining your eyes. So even if you don't want much on the lid, you could always go in with one of these shades as an eyeliner. And then I wanted to add a little of Edgy. This is a deeper mauve shade. All these work so well with pinks. You even have a dark brown here called Grunge that again would make an amazing eyeliner. At Ulta, I saw a company that's new to me. It's called About Face, and they had a longwear gel liner. I was super excited to try because of the color. This is a very deep, deep plummy shade that works great with pink. I think this just brings out the pink. You could always use gray, but this is such a gorgeous purpley plum that I think it's perfect. I wore this for weeks. I found that it did not get under my eyes, didn't smudge, did stay on all day. It's so exciting when I find an affordable eyeliner that lasts all day without budging. And that's what this did. I really want to try some other shades because I think it's an incredible eyeliner. For blush, I have a few suggestions. If you like a liquid blush, I love this one from Ulta. It's their Stay Cheeky. Now this is a softer shade. I know some of you ladies will want a very soft, barely noticeable look on the cheeks. This is one of those products that's like that, but you can layer it and get more intensity. This shade is dusty pink, and often I will love to go with something very soft on the cheeks because I like to do a little more drama in the eyes. For powder, I love this one from CoverGirl. It's the shade Pink Candy. What I like to do is layer blush. I will often put a liquid or a cream blush on the cheeks and then go on top with a powder. It gives just such a beautiful, long-lasting look. A pink highlighter can really pull your look together and make your look a little more glamorous. With the holidays coming up, I know a lot of you will want to sort of elevate your everyday look. 
Well, today I'm comparing two that I think are so similar. One's affordable, one is a little higher priced. And for the affordable side, I love the Revlon Rose Glow. They call this a face gloss. It's just very sheer. It looks beautiful on the skin, I think. It adds a lot of luminosity. I just sort of tap it into the skin. You can take a brush. I often like to use this one from BK Beauty. It's the 108 and just sort of tap it into the skin like this. It's very comparable to the one from Rare Beauty. I recently purchased this. I do love it. I think the formula is beautiful. Like the Revlon, it sinks into the skin. Now this product is a little harder to find right now because it's been out for a while. This is newer, but both of these have that thin, beautiful formula that works for mature skin and leaves the skin looking very luminous. I wanted to mention for my brows, I used my Winky Lux pencil. I love the shape of this. It's on a slant. It's a lot like the Westman Atelier pencil that I've tried. I really like this more. It's a little bit creamier. I just like how thin it is as a pencil. And then of course, it's got your spoolie to brush through. But I really am so happy with this one from Winky Lux. It's a little more as far as cost than some at the drugstore, but I find it's a very high quality pencil and could rival any high end. I'm out of my Maybelline Sky High. I need to repurchase more, so I decided to use another favorite from CoverGirl, the Lash Blast Volume. This doesn't make my lashes quite as impactful, I think, as the Maybelline Sky High, but it is a great formula. Let's talk about the lips. I'm going in today with Sweet Pea from BK Beauty. The last time I looked, they were sold out, so I'm hoping they get it back soon. It's such a gorgeous pink. I looked through my collection for this video to find you the best lip liner I could in a pink. And there were none that could beat this. I have lots of liners, but this is so creamy, so easy to work with. I often just fill in my entire lips with this shade because it's so pretty. I wanted to give you a couple of options for lips. This one from Revlon is called Secret Club. I love how creamy and beautiful these formulas are. I rarely see anything high end that I think can beat Revlon. I just think their lipstick formulas are absolutely amazing and they last a long time. I do have to reapply during the day, but it's not something that wears off quickly. And this Secret Club is number 766 and it's a cream lipstick. Another great shade is Primrose. This is a softer pink. I think if you don't like a bold lip, you'll love this. I wanted to give a shade that was a little more bold and then one that wasn't as much bold. If you like a bolder lip, then I think you'll love this one. But I wanted to show Primrose because I know a lot of women, as we get older, maybe our lips get a little smaller and we don't want such a bold lip. We want something a little softer. So I think Primrose is such a great choice. If you're looking to elevate your lip look, I suggest putting something with some sparkle in the center of the lips. It will make them look poutier, fuller. This one from Sephora is amazing and so affordable. This is from the Sephora line. This is the shade Outrageous. Look at how beautiful this looks on the lips. I'll put on a little more for you, but look, just gorgeous. It just takes this whole look and elevates it to more of a nighttime look. So if I'm going out in the evening and I feel like my lips need a little more pizzazz, I use either a lipstick that has some metallic to it or some shimmer or a gloss. For foundation today, I'm wearing the Revlon Illuminance. It's in the shade 213. This is their skin caring foundation. I would say this is my top foundation from the drugstore for this year. The formula can beat many that I have tried that are high end. I'm putting on the foundation today with the Angie A506. This is what we call a little paw brush. I like putting on my foundation this way. I work in small sections and just sort of press the foundation in. This brush is so soft. It's great for my sensitive skin. 
I usually go over at the end with my stands out sponge just to make sure I've blended everything well, especially going from the chin area and jawline down into the neck. I might put a little product on my stands out sponge and then just blend like this. But I love this foundation. I think it is so amazing for mature skin. Most of the time, I don't wear any kind of primer underneath. Sometimes I do if my pores look a little enlarged. I'll put some primer here. But I feel like with this, to get that skin look, you really don't need a primer. This just goes on beautifully and just takes away any of the discoloration that I have and I really just love it. I hope you like this pink kit that I put together for you. I think it would work for all skin tones. If you have a very fair skin tone, you may use a little less product than I did, and if you have a deeper skin tone than I do, you may need to apply a little bit more, but I think these shades would look gorgeous on everyone. They're very universal. And that's what I was aiming for, for this to be something that would help all of you. Let me know what your favorite product was from the video. I'd love to hear. Everything's linked in the description. Thank you so much for shopping those links, for supporting my channel. I appreciate you more than you know. I love you all so much. I hope you have a blessed week. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon.